what is up guys bringing you a quick ish little video building some people like stuff that I've built and I'll get messages on Xbox why does it never look as good now then this is not use this stuff to make it look good and it's not I'm right you should do it my way this is something I learned a long time ago from a guy called possibly maybe Jamesy Boy MC. I shall link his channel down in the description. Something that is pleasing to the human eye in buildings is odd numbers. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. But pretty much everything I do is an odd number. I shall try and cut in some uh, footage of the man cave that I've got going and show you to prove it. But yeah, for whatever reason, one, two, three, four, five. That's not right. That's five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. For some reason, odd numbers seem to go over better. Or look a bit better. Uh, uh, just trying to think how I should go about this. Now this is not going to be some sexy looking building by any means. This is just going to show you an example of what I mean. So you have your odd numbers. 5, 3 high, total will be 7. A couple of tricks you can do, use wood in the corners, like the actual planks. Yeah, it costs a little more, but it looks good, because it just breaks it up, stops it being just a plain old building. And you can even top it off, except you don't want to top it off there. You want to top it off on that one. Like so. But again, this is your personal preference. And it's just a little trick that I use to help break it up. I'll give you a further view in a minute. Oh yeah, I had to do this because I did this on hard and didn't turn monsters off. And I kept getting interrupted. So, yeah. Little thing you can do. Odd numbers. And this is another thing. Glass and glass panes. When to use either, either, neither, neither. Whatever you fancy, really. I only have one qualm with them, and I'll show you that example as well. But yeah, that looks like a nice front to a building. At least I think it does. Mm, another thing is, you can sort of break your windows up halfway. Yeah. So that's your side. Again, you can do the top or you can leave it. Oh, let's do it this way. Let's go for a three in the middle. And we'll use the blocks. See, I don't really like that because it looks... I don't know. I prefer panes for the middle. I don't know why. Probably because it's like your house at home. <laughs> your windows are not as thick as your walls. Um, 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 yes, and the central door, only I don't want it there, I want it like that, yes, this is the only time that I'll use a glass pane, and that's when I'm doing windows around my doors, because and I mean glass block rather than glass pane because if you use a glass pane you get that thing going on and they don't connect to doors so we don't do that or at least I don't again this is all you absolutely all you you can of course throw on the sides which still looks good but again all odd numbers guys odd numbers threes, fives, sevens you know what an odd number is. Anyway, that makes stuff look good. And the other example should be 
Let's do a uh, six, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah. Go no, three high again. We even use the fancy top. Why not? And we'll make it a solid wall. Why not? Right. One thing with an even number, you can do a double door. Anyone who uses double doors, or at least a tree last patch, double doors are a pain in the backside. So I don't really like to use double doors. And you're pretty much stuck with something along that variety. You know, it doesn't exactly give you lots of choice. Because you take them off. And again, don't know what it is, but if you throw this in, uh, we'll want one there. Or will we? No, we won't. We'll. You see, we're kind of forced to use these at this point because of how it's laid out. So, yeah, you kind of stuck with that, really. Kind of. You can move it over here, one. I'm not even going to bother putting that block down. And you know, do something like that, but then it looks weird, and then you're back to, oh, I might as well use a double door. And again, you stick it on the end there. Again, still looks kind of weird. Like I said, I do not know what the reason is, but evens just kind of look strange, because you put your double door there, and it just... Ugh. My own view. Anyway, another reason that I like... Odd numbers. Let's get rid of that and let's grab us a chest. Uh, don't use creative enough. There we go. Right. You're going to do a chest room and you want all your chests on this wall. One, two. You can't put a chest there. Ah! So it breaks it up. And you can have something in the middle. Be it item frames to symbolize what's in your chest because you got to remember you can still stack these on top of each other and they work just fine. If you want to go by my chest room. Uh, anyway, yeah. I like odd numbers for many different reasons. And one thing is, they do look better. And I don't know why. It's something that the human eye likes. The human eye, <laughs> uh, I suppose animal eyes might like it as well. Another good thing you can do is, of course, angle your roofs. And now we can do the cornered. Cornered? Yeah, cornered. I'm, I'm going to stick with cornered. Uh, corner stairs. Or cornered. I don't. I don't even know what the right word is. Corner or cornered. Whichever one it is, you can do that. Um, I tend to always try and use stairs or half slabs for my roof because they are known as transparent blocks and. As you know with the whole cave, it's half slabs or stairs that we walk on. And that means mobs cannot spawn on it. No monster can spawn on this, naturally. You don't need any light up here. And, yeah. You know, you can do it that way, or if you're feeling uber fancy, you can. don't know how this will look with just smashing up half of it, but that's what I'm going to do. Um... Yes, you can, in fact, build it out just a little more, like so. So you get a little, uh, whatever that word is that I want to use, but can't remember what it is. Um, overhang, that, that's a word, and I'll use that. Yeah, you get a little overhang over the edge. Uh, NPC villages tend to have this on like a couple of sides. Which is really weird and frustrates me, so I tend to chop it down. But, I do like this. I prefer it to that, to be honest. To be fair, to be truthful, to be me talking words and stuff to you. Quite like that, overhang. Or, you can do the flat roof. And, flat roof is not completely flat. Or at least my version is not. Flat roof, what I do. Get rid of some of this, some of that. Here's, uh, again, the overhang. 
So you bring it out one. Again, all stuff that I do, this is not, this is going to look good. This is not, you should use these blocks. This is just a few different ideas you can use when you're next to in any sort of building. Just, you know, mess around with it. See what you like. See what you don't. And it's, like I said, kind of a response to messages of how do I do my stuff. And um, my main trick is odd numbers. <laughs> just plain and simple odd numbers. See, again, you've got that one. Or you just take these out. And it's just a slight step. And that's more flat. And cheaper to build in survival than that. It's kind of like Willy Wonka, half and half. I like it. Anyway, little video, just saying for you guys to think about, I love your faces, you're all amazing, remember please drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff you do, I've been Sparty and I'll see you again next time.